Hello everyone, we will continue the topic control break statements or control break events and in the previous video we started with the important points related to control break statements or event and we already discussed the first point yes always sort the internal table based upon the field name which you are specifying in at new or at end of. Suppose in our current example, we used PM, payment mode column in at new and at end of. So we sorted the internal table based upon that column. Now we will move on to second most, most important point. This topic seems to be very easy. But we have so many points which we need to take care. If we will not take care for those points, we will always, always get a wrong output. So for the second point, I will not come on to this theory part first. Firstly, we will replicate. We will do the practical. We will come on to the conclusion. And yes, then I will read the theory part. And this is one of the most, most important point. Any interviewer will always ask this particular point. Now, suppose as of now, our internal table has two columns. What is first column? Payment mode and total. What is first column? Payment mode. What is second column? Total amount. Suppose. I will go to SC11 transaction code. Suppose I want order number also. I want order number also. So what I will do? I will take order number in the structure also, structure type. Suppose we want a internal table of three columns. So order number, type, data element of order number. Requirement is same to same, but now we are taking order number also. In the select query also, we will fetch order number. So we have structure of three columns, internal table of three column. We fetch the data of three column. Our requirement is same to same, but we fetch the data of three columns. Now we will see how the output will change now and how we will get a wrong output. What is our requirement? What was our requirement? We want the sum of total amount based upon payment mode. Now I am running the program. I will just execute. Have you seen? I totally, totally got a wrong output for C, it should sum, it should display 600. For D, it should display 1400. For N, it should display 1000. Now the question comes, what happened if I took an extra column in the internal table? How the total output changed? This is extremely important point which we must take care we which we must take care so for the best understanding i will show you in the debugging mode i will put a breakpoint then we will come on to the conclusion and this point is extremely important among all the points and we must take care because this is the mistake which we do when we apply control break statements now I'm going for F6. So I have 10 records in the internal table. Records are same, but previously we have two columns. Now we have three columns in the internal table. Order number, payment mode, total amount. Based upon our requirement, yes, we sorted the internal table based upon payment mode, done. We sorted the internal table based upon payment mode. 
now just see how 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 the output will impact now firstly the loop will go for first record of the internal table yes at first yes it should execute because it is the first record of the internal table done now next add new payment mode add new payment mode yes add new triggers for the first first record of the group having the same value for the field name now what people will think okay c c c c so add new will trigger for the first record okay done no problem add new trigger we displayed c now we will come on to at end of payment mode at end now i will show you at end will trigger for the last record of the group having the same value now people will think at end should not trigger because this is the this is the last record of payment mode c but at end will trigger at end will trigger just see at end is triggering and it is making some now the question comes why why it happened now the answer is just see now this is your internal table now we took one extra column in the internal table which is on the left hand side of specified field which is on the left hand side left hand side of specified field we are specifying which field name payment mode but on the left hand side which column we have now order number and just see now is order number value is changing what is the value of order number for first record it is one one so it will become a group now 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 because order number values are changing order number values are changing extremely extremely important point yes we put at new or at end based upon payment mode but the values of the field are changing which are on the left hand side so yes at that point at new and at end will trigger if the values are changing on the left hand side so based upon this ideally what it should be at new will trigger based upon this at end will trigger for this particular record but now the behavior will not be like this this is order number 1 so it is one group this is order number 2 one group this is order number 3 one group so at new will trigger at end will also trigger because we have only one record for order number 1 now suppose if i will show you next iteration you will get more more idea now we'll come on to next at last will not trigger because it is not the last record now i will come to next iteration side tabix is 2 so now at new payment mode now people will think yes we already considered the first record of payment mode c so it should not trigger but it will trigger because our your first group has ended now it is a start of new group we have not specified the order number column but it is on the left hand side of the specified field the word which i am using left hand side so we have a new it will consider this as a new group 
So whenever it will consider as a new group, have you seen at new is triggering? Now we will come on to at end. At end will also trigger because this is the last record of order number two. Just see uh, because of adding one extra field to the internal table, we are getting a wrong output. So whenever I will execute, you can see we are getting a wrong output. So whenever you are going for add new and add end, add new and add end, whatever the field you are specifying, if we have a field which is on the left hand side of specified field and if the value is changing for that particular field then you will always always get a wrong output if you want the result based upon that specified field only so we must take care of this so if i will read the theory part now theory will make sense and then we will come on to the solution for the same. What is the solution for the same? The event at new field name and at end of field name also trigger. See, I am using the word also trigger. Also trigger if the value of other field changing. In this case, what is the other field value changing? Order number. When the value of other fields change, which are on the left hand side of specified field. Yes, order number is on the left hand side of payment mode. The most most important word is left hand side. So add new and add and also trigger. Yes. We specified based upon payment mode, but the order number value is changing, which is on the left hand side of payment mode. So if you want add new and add end, if we want add new and add end to trigger only the specified field, we want at new and at end should needs to be triggered based upon payment mode only it should not take order number into consideration then just think now what is the solution for the same we need to take payment mode as first position yes if our payment mode is at the first position there is no column on the left hand side so yes, our add new and add end will always always give the right result. This is extremely, extremely important understanding. And this is real project. It is never the case. Suppose in our current scenario, if I want to display order number, definitely I have to take order number. But I want control break statements or even based upon payment mode. So in that case, yes, what we need to do, I need to take payment mode column at the first position. If nothing is on the left hand side, payment mode is on the first position itself. Yes, then the output will never, never impact. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we cover one of the most, most important point that at new field name or at end of field name also triggers if the value of other field change which are present on the left hand side of specified field name whatever the field you are specifying in at new or at end of if we have a field on the left hand side of that and the value is changing add new or add end of will trigger definitely it will trigger but if we do not want to trigger yes if we want to trigger add new and add end based upon that specified field name only 
we need to take that specified field at the first position only. Now, in the next video, how to resolve, how to resolve this particular thing, how we will take our payment mode at the first position, we will write or we will do the practical for the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.